of YouTube, this is Doc Shim, and welcome back to another review. And today we're going to be upgrading my Dell Inspirion 531. And I'm going to show you how to add some more RAM to the machine to make your machine run a lot better. Now this is a very simple process and it's going to save you a ton of money if you uh, even just attempt to do it. It's very simple. I'm going to add 2 gigs of RAM to my machine. It has 2 gig right now and it's running Vista 64-bit. And um, I have enough room for 2 more slots and one gig each, okay? So there's two two uh, two sticks in here, one is each one of them is one gig. So that's gonna give me a total of four gigabyte running on my Vista machine, which only has two right now. Okay? Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you get the right RAM for your machine. So make sure you take the specs to the store with you and get uh, somebody there to help you get the right RAM for your machine. In my case I'm running DDR2, which is the correct RAM for mine, so I should be okay. I shouldn't have a problem. Okay, so that's what the first thing you want to do. The second thing you want to do is to make sure your machine is unplugged. I removed the power cord from my machine so I got no power going into the machine. Okay, so you want to keep safe doing this. Second, you want to go around the front of your machine and just press the power button. because Sometimes it keeps a little current inside the machine. You press that, there's nothing, no lights and nothing coming on. So you should be pretty, pretty good to go. Uh, usually you take the side panel off your machine and you'll, you'll have access to the RAM. And I'm taking mine off right here. It should be pretty easy. It should slide right off. This panel slides right off. We got that. And I'm just going to put that right over here. Okay. So now if I look at my machine here, I have two, two uh, sticks of RAM here right now. Okay. So I have two more empty slots right on the side here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me give you guys a little better view right there. I got two empty slots right here. And here's where my RAM is right now. Okay. You got a couple of tabs, there's some little white tabs on the bottom here. You want to make sure those tabs are pushed all the way down. And at the top here, you want to make sure those, they're pushed all the way up. Just the opposite. So this way you can put your RAM in there. The first thing you want to do is you want to take, remove the RAM from the package. Which I have mine here. I got my RAM right here. And I'm ready to install my RAM now. Okay, so what you want to do here is, you, know, you notice the RAM here has a, a label on here. You don't want to remove that label. You want to keep that label that it has a serial uh, number on there and it also has what kind of RAM it is. If this label is removed by any chance and you have any problems with the RAM may be a defect and you take that back to the store they will not refund your money. The RAM is just yours. Uh, you're probably stuck with it. So uh, I'm just trying to, I want to prevent you from uh, getting to that situation. You want to make sure the RAM is installed correctly. Uh, if you notice on here there's nothing on this side but the label and if I you want to grab your RAM from the sides. You don't want to grab it from the, the face itself. You got a lot of little components on here. This is where, however you see these uh, components is where you want this RAM in. Okay? You want everything going the same way. You have a little slot here in the middle for the RAM to actually uh, insert itself. And on the bottom and the top here, you want to uh, just place the RAM into place. In my case, mine is running like this. So that my RAM will go in my machine just like this. Okay? All you have to do is push them in the slots, close those tabs, and your upgrade is done. So let's just go down with this and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'm just going to put the RAM in here, just like this. Make sure it's in there. And you're going to hear it click. It's right there. I'm just going to push it right in. Did you hear the click? Same thing with the top. The first stick of RAM is in. I'm going to try the second one. Same scenario, same way. Just like this, I'm holding my RAM right here where I'm not touching any of the components. And I'm going to push it right in the slot. The same way. I usually like to start at the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to work my way up to the top. Push the tab up, make sure the tab is all the way up and the bottom. Okay, bottom's in, nice and secure. Same thing with the top. There you go. It's that simple. My upgrade is done. My machine should run a lot faster and a lot better. And that was just how many minutes did that take? My video says here it took four minutes and 55 seconds. So that's basically all it took to get an upgrade, and I saved myself. 
over a hundred bucks. Post your comments along with the video and uh, I'll have any, any questions you guys have, I'll be glad to answer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my machine back together, put my machine in place, plug my, my, plug my power cord back in and my machine should uh, give me a little information on an upgrade and I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys up on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Later.